Hi guys, welcome back and thank you so much for returning. I saw a couple dislikes on my last video and I do apologize that it was pretty hectic. Um, before I set this down, I have some fresh squeezed orange juice, or fresh squeezed apple juice. Um, I found that at the store, I would call apple cider, but they called it fresh squeezed apple juice, but it's really good, it tastes like apple cider. But yeah, um, I really want to apologize for that. It was the only minute that I got somewhat to myself. Um, you can kind of see my life, how that is sometimes. It gets a little bit hectic with a bunch of kids running around and whatnot. Um, but thankfully right now, um, one is at school, one is asleep in her brand new big girl bed, and one is sick in his room. He actually has to have his windscreen teeth taken out. They're coming in and infected, so that's great. But anyway, what I have today is a big bowl of breakfast. So I have, oh, I'm dropping my grapes. <laughs> I'm eating in my bedroom again because my husband is downstairs playing um, Xbox. And I just didn't want to film with him in the background having um, moments of uncontrollable expletives coming out of his mouth. <laughs> So anyway, what I have today is a bowl of uh, blueberry Greek yogurt. It's the 80 calorie yogurt. And then I have, but I guess it would be 160 calories because I have two bowls in there. And then I have a bowl of grapes, big fat juicy green grapes. I love them. And lastly, I have a bowl of dry um, dark chocolate and almond um, granola. Mm And I just figured I would eat this and kind of go over the last few days. So like I said, my daughter has her um, big girl bed and we actually purchased her bed along with a mattress. I think I talked about it before. And they were supposed to be here yesterday. I am back. I spoke too soon. <laughs> right as I said that she was sleeping, my daughter woke up. But she went downstairs, so she is going to eat with her dad. She's going to have some lunch, I think. Mmm. This even has little chocolate chips. It's really good. So yeah, they were supposed to come yesterday and deliver our bed. And they called us, um, I don't know, it, it was they were supposed to be here between 10.45, I think, and 2.45 or something. And they called us at like 9 o'clock saying that they were going to be there in a half hour. Okay, awesome. So we waited and waited, 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 waited until it was like two o'clock and they finally call us and they're like, well, the people were there, but they couldn't get on base. So they left. Toilet? Oh, they called and asked if there was anything wrong. I told them that toilet sometimes is a bitch to flush and Jordan's light thing. Okay, well, here. All right. I will just sit here. I guess. All right, I'm back. It seems like every time I start today, something happens. This last time, the repair guy came to fix my toilet. <laughs> I don't even remember where I was at. Oh, 
Oh, it was something about the delivering people, delivering the beds. So anyway, um, we had spent all morning moving the beds around, and we took the twin size, because my boys have two, each have a bunk bed, each have part of a bunk bed, because they're bunk beds that can be separated. And so, um, we spent the morning putting the two bunk beds pieces into one, in one boy's room, and moving our old clean size mattress and stuff over to my oldest son's room. And then we got my daughter's furniture all out of her room so that she could have room for her bed coming in. And then they called us and they're like, oh, well, they tried to get on earlier and they couldn't, so they'll just come tomorrow. I was like, no, that's not acceptable. I've had four back surgeries. I'm going to have another one soon. I don't want, or I can't sleep on the floor. It, like, physically kills me to sleep on something that hard. And so, anyway, they were willing to meet us at the gate and give us the stuff in my husband's truck and bring it back. And they were supposed to come today between 8 and noon to set it all up. Guess who never showed up? Yeah. So then I call. And we did pay for delivery and handling and all this stuff. And they tell us, oh yeah, the, the flower uh, comforter set, you're not getting. It's sold out. It wasn't sold out when we ordered it last week. And my daughter has been looking forward to it forever. We bought her troll sheets and she likes them, but she wanted her flower bed and it had really pretty flowers all over it. So they're supposed to be sending it to us. Like we're supposed to get it by, what's today, Thursday? We're supposed to get it by like Monday, I think she said, which I guess I'm gonna have to deal with it. I mean, what else? But we went and got her a Trolls comforter. No, she doesn't want that. She wants her flower bed. So anyway, I'm just really upset with this whole um, furniture delivery thing right now. Like, I would understand them if they say, oh, we can't get on. But it's bullshit when they don't call for hours and hours and hours and then tell us, oh, well, we tried, you know, five hours ago. Oh, bitch. <laughs> we could have come. Why didn't you call? It just drives me a little bit frustrated. I apologize. These grapes are really good. At the commissary, I try not to buy produce there very often because it always goes bad. Like within a day, it's bad after you buy it. I am surprised. These grapes are actually not squishy and they're still good and I bought them yesterday. And I mean, like, I live in Southern California. They grow everything here. So it's not like it was transported forever and it got rotten on the way. No. I don't understand why they always have rotten food there. I bought tomatoes two days ago, and they now have rotten spots, and they're all wrinkly and gross. But this... This cereal is really good. It's supposed to be like organic and I don't know, like the, it's ca like the Cascadian Farms, all no GMO. But I was sold when I saw chocolate on the cover. <laughs> because chocolate is so yummy and it's 
like actually has chocolate flakes. I bought one cereal one time and it showed like chocolate curls in the cereal. And I guess that's just because it has chocolate taste. But I think that was kind of deceptive because I thought it was going to have chocolate curls in it and that's the only reason why I bought it. I'm not a fan of chocolate flavored things and I'm not a fan of like chocolate cake, cookies, ice cream, stuff like that. Like I like chocolate. But I will drink chocolate milk. <laughs> This stuff's really good. I really like that it has um, almond flakes, like sliced almonds too. And that look good. Blueberries and dark chocolate. I like how crunchy it is. That's all I can hear is crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> we have new neighbors. I'm being very antisocial about going over and introducing myself. My son said that one of the kids is in his class at school. But he's like me and kind of a bit standoffish and shy, so he didn't talk to her either. I guess he just heard that um I don't know if he recognized her or what it was, because I don't think I've seen them either. I was happy without neighbors. Well, I have other neighbors, but less neighbors is better for me. Because it's less drama, because I live on a military base, and all the girls... Not all. Many of the girls are just out of high school and very willing to stay within drama. And because of that, I try to kind of keep my distance because I'm just, I'm not interested in it. So because of that, I miss my friends. <laughs> I think I said before that um, I live in Southern California, um, but I'm originally from Washington State. So I grew up there my whole life. So all of my friends are still there. And because of my modeling, I do now have friends that live in um, other states or... Um, like different areas of California, but it's not close enough to just run over and borrow a cup of sugar, like three hour drive, four hour drive, so. So I don't see them as often as I would like. And my best best friend, 
who I've been friends with since I was seven years old. So I've been friends with her for like, I don't even want to say this, 30 years. I have been friends with my best friend. God, I am old. Um, but she lives in Kansas now. So again, it's still quite a ways away. And I haven't seen her in like two years now. So I kind of miss, miss people. But it is kind of nice to be living away from home, like where I grew up. It's kind of nice. I never thought I'd get out of there. And the weather is beautiful. <laughs> I keep thinking I need to cut my hair. It's so long and it's always in the way. But it's almost down to my back. Or it's almost down to like my butt. It's like right down almost to the very bottom of my back. So, but it's just so long and it's so like not joking it is so thick and it is so warm okay i do love this juice it is really good it is not good while eating yogurt and grapes <laughs> Too many weird tastes going on and it's not tasting the best. Uh -huh. I'll pour the whole thing in there. Now I have a big old ball of granola with just a little bit of yogurt. I bought some other uh, granola the other day. So I have been a big fan of granola ever since I was little. Like it's my absolute favorite. Um, cereal like hands down <laughs> but um, I bought some other one the other day and I don't remember what brand it was but um, it was like vanilla and chia seeds and almonds and it didn't taste like vanilla it didn't taste like almond it tasted like I was eating a bunch of grains like I understand that's what it is but oh, I gotta change spots but it just wasn't good at all <laughs> so I gave that one to my husband he's like yeah I liked it I put it on my yogurt okay you can have it then <laughs> all right now I'm sitting on my bed that the mattress is new but the base of it is the one that like lifts up your head and your feet and it vibrates and does all this funky stuff and it was too heavy for me to help my husband unload last night so it's still sitting in the truck and we are waiting for them to come install it yeah we'll be waiting for a while but the mattress itself is so comfortable it's um oh what is it combo hybrid that's what it is it's like the springs, the quilts are wrapped underneath it, and then it's got like a huge layer of like memory foam stuff, and it's like so comfortable. Like, I slept really well on it. I don't remember waking up, and that's a really big thing because I wake up a lot during the night to have to change positions. Dude, turn down your radio. <laughs> wow. Um, anyway, yeah. I am excited. I can't wait for the actual base to be on it. We had to bring the box spring back from my son's room. We had to take it back from underneath his bed to come put it on our bed so that we could put the mattress because our bed frame just has like a few, it has the bed rail on either side and then it has 
just like two legs in the center. It's really, really weird, but it was like not very sturdy. We couldn't just put the mattress on it because it was like seeping in because my big fat ass was like weighing it down. So we had to get the box free. But I am hoping that with the base, it'll make the bed a lot lower. Right now I use a stool to step up on the bed because it's so high and it like it hurts to jump up that high to get up on the bed. Of course, now that I put the last of it in, I am getting full. I can't do it. I am so full. I only have like that little bit left. I'm totally trying to find. I can't find any chocolate chips. Now they're all covered in yogurt. <laughs> Just give me some yogurt, please. Not yogurt, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I had to because I couldn't find where the chocolate chips were. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they're really sour now. So, when you have yogurt, and you have granola, and then you have grapes, or you have apple juice, it tastes really sour afterwards. Oh, my God. No. Okay, I'm, I have to be done. Can't do that. That's going to kill me. So I guess I am done for this meal. I hope that you have enjoyed it with me. And I do look forward to you guys coming and sharing your time with me again. Please go ahead and feel free to leave any comments. 
um, down below. I would love to learn more about you guys and um, really try to become friends. So I will see you guys later and bye.